So recently a trailer came out for The Lion King and we get to hear a nice beautiful rendition of Can You Feel The Love by Donald Glover and Beyonce Knowles Carter. And honestly I'm really liking the way it sounds, I think the voices mesh really nicely together and The Lion King is looking to be very promising. I feel like that was very odd of me to say it's The Lion King, of course it's going to be a good film. However, it's just the reception of this particular trailer that is really getting under my skin. So recently there's been this sort of minor discussion when it comes to Donald's uh, singing capabilities and more so this was an opinion that I cannot agree with that came out of the Beehive, the Bayhive, not quite sure which one it is but Beyonce's fan base and they're saying that Donald just can't, he quote, cannot sing. Um. Uh, I disagree with that um, by a long run. Um, I've seen the trailer several times already. I'm a very open-minded person and honestly after watching it and hearing it, I can see where it comes from. Beyonce sung the song like Beyonce and with a lot of soul. For as long as I can remember, she's always sung like that. Now don't get me wrong, she's a very beautiful vocalist. She has really great range. Um, as well as Donald. I mean, we always like to refer to that So Into You cover. I mean, that's one of many examples that he sung quite well. But it's just like, why would you go as far as undermining another artist's vocal abilities because you worship, you know, said artist? I think that's where the opinion just goes a little bit unjust. I don't think it's fair. You know, they're both talented in their own right. Not only that, like, I understand because when you listen to it, like, Donald's voice is a little bit faint or not as powerful, I guess, in comparison to Beyonce's. Um, it's almost like her voice are like a few decibels higher or his voice is a few decibels lower than hers. And it's like, I mean, they complement each other well, but it's like, I don't know if it was intentional. Um, I mean, we, I, I'm not sure. Like, who knows? Maybe there's, like, takes of this song where Donald's voice is on par with hers, where I guess it makes sense. But then where would be the, like, the diversity in that? So, I don't know. Like, I even seen, like, a comment that said, oh, why can't Beyonce just do the voices of both Simba and Nala? Yeah, they could do that, but like, why? Why would they do this? This is weird. I mean, they could get away with it. It is a live action movie with lions. So you don't have to see like the voice actor's face to really, you know, connect the two together. Like you could have one actor for the singing, then one acting for like the speech and the dialogue. They could do that, but it, it'd be, I feel like it'd be a lot better to just have a person who can both, who can execute both singing and dialogue. I think that's a lot. It's a lot better, and considering it's Donald, I mean, we've already seen what he can do. Um, same with Beyonce, you know, they're both talented artists. I think the trailer was nice, I think so. I just think maybe we're uh, people who are a little bit against Donald singing are sort of out of their minds. That's just my opinion. <laughs> I mean, they can't undo the movie, they're not going to do a lot of reshoots or a lot of new recordings just because. They don't agree with the 30 second clip like there's gonna be other songs with Donald singing I mean this is only 30 seconds I wouldn't totally you know want him out the project simply because of this trailer I mean we just gotta wait and see for the film to come out so yeah that's all I really have to say um, I came out of hiding just to talk about this because it, it was getting on my nerves just a bit uh, yeah uh, see you guys in the next one